Hey, I'm Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can swap faces from one photo to another. This was inspired by a visitor to my website, and she wants to know how she can take the photo of a race car driver and replace his face with her grandson's face. The first thing I'm going to do is I have these two images that I got from iStockPhoto.com. So I'm going to go to the photo of the boy and I'm going to click on my zoom tool and click once on his face to enlarge that image to 200 percent. Now in the toolbar I'm going to click on the magnetic lasso tool. You'll probably see the lasso tool but if you click and hold on the lasso tool it'll show you that there's two other lasso tools nested underneath there and one of them is the magnetic lasso tool and that's the one I want. So I'm going to um, choose that and then go over and what I want to do is make a selection that goes right around his collar. So I just click and then let go of the mouse and then I can just drag around his collar and it will snap right to his collar and make a selection that way. I want to get the rest of his head so I'm going to switch from the magnetic lasso to the regular lasso tool and now if I hold shift down I can just click and drag right around his head. And I want to go inside of my first selection so it becomes part of that selection and then I can let go of the mouse and I have the selection I want. So now I want to put that selection of his head on its own layer. So if I go up to the layers menu and select new and go down to layer via copy I'll just click on that and now in my layers palette if I turn off the visibility of my background layer, you can see I have a nice selection of just the boy's head. So I'm going to just click and drag on this layer of his head and bring it over right on top of the photo of the race car driver and let go. That becomes a separate layer in the race car driver photo. I'm going to choose my move tool from the toolbox and you can see now I have a bounding box around that layer which allows me to move it and size it and rotate it if I want. What I really need to do is just um, size it and move it. So first of all I'm going to kind of move it up next to the race car driver's head so I can see how they compare and if I just put the boy's head on there now it would look too small so I need to enlarge his head a little bit so I can just grab any of the four corners on the um, of this uh, bounding box around the boy's head I'm just gonna grab one corner here and drag until it looks about the right size and that looks like it might work okay. And now if you want to get rid of the bounding box when you have the move tool selected, go up to your options bar and you can see there's a check box here for show bounding box. So if I click off of that, then it gets rid of the bounding box. Now I can s use my move tool to just move the boy's head right over on top of uh, the race car driver's head. And I'm going to use the zoom tool and enlarge up to 200% so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Now I'll grab the move tool again so I can position that a little better. Okay, so let's look over in the layers palette and, and see. I'm going to click off the visibility eyeball of the boy and click it back on. And you can see the collar here and the collar over on this side when I turn the visibility on is um, being covered up by the um, layer of the boy above it. So I want that collar to actually show 
so what I need to do is erase some of my selection of the boy because if you look over here on our original photo of the boy you can see there's some white from the background of, of that photo and that's what's actually covering up the uh, the collar on the race car driver's suit. I'll go over to my toolbox and click on the eraser tool. I'm just going to go up here, actually I'm going to enlarge this one more time to 300 percent and I'm going to take my eraser tool and I can see there's a, a white border around the collar here that you can't see so I'm going to assume that the boy's head is covering that up so I'm just going to click and e start erasing and you can see that as I erase the boy's head the collar from the race car driver is revealed and if I erase all the way around here then the whole collar from the race car driver photo becomes visible and I'll do the same over here I need to erase this little bit of white area around the boy's head so you can see the collar and I'm just clicking and dragging with my mouse here and there's a lot more collar up here too that I'm gonna reveal now I'll um, go back to 100% view. I can do that by double clicking on my zoom tool and if I click off and on you can see that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll um, you can see the race car driver has more shadow area in there and the boy's neck seems almost too fat in that area so I'm gonna enlarge that again and then go in with my eraser tool make sure I'm on the top layer make sure it's selected as opposed to the background layer and I'm just going to erase some of the boy's neck here to to let that shadow from the race car driver image show through and I think that looks a little more natural now one problem I see is that the hands from the race car driver just don't fit this young boy so I think what I'll try to do is just crop those out and I can do that by going over to my toolbox and clicking on the crop tool and then I'll just click and drag and actually I'll I want to get as much as of the background as I can so I'll take all that and then just go up from the bottom and slide that up until most of uh, most of that hand most of both hands on both sides actually are not showing and then click on the green check to make that change so you can still see that he's holding a helmet but y you don't see those big hands in there and that is one way you can replace faces using Photoshop elements I'm Rick and to see lots more tutorials and valuable information about Photoshop elements visit my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Until next time, take care.